hi guys welcome to next step with cherry so guys we are i am so very very happy i am very happy about this good news because we know that a lot of countries are facing like shortages when it comes to the healthcare sector and then not a lot of countries have a defined pathway for healthcare workers and australia is also included so they don't really have okay like healthcare workers can or like employers can get workers from overseas or something like that or you know like included in their pathway it's more or less like permanent residency you can apply for permanent residence but now the government have uh, laid emphasis on this particular pathway and they have announced the this pathway and we are going to see it it's called it include like aged work aged care workers and support workers and nursing support so we are going to see all the titles that can apply through this pathway and we are also going to see the salary range you are going to see every requirement that is needed so that you will see you, so that you will decide if it is something that you can pursue so guys without wasting much time we are going to go straight to this but please remember to click the like button and also share this video with your friends and people that you know that have the certificate of this carer certificate and they are waiting or they are looking for opportunities like this so they can as well grab this opportunity and please click the like button uh, as i've said before okay so guys without wasting much time let us go straight to this on the on seven days ago, the Australian government announced about this particular pathway. It is called the Aged uh, Aged Carer Labor Employment Agreement or so something like that. So it is for aged carers, and also I'm going to say it. So this is to support overseas workers uh, in this area that is aged or disabled car carers, personal care assistants, and nursing support workers. So these three groups can now come with the 4A2 visa. So this 4A2 visa is the temporary skill shortage visa that is of class 4A2. And that means that employers can now hire people from overseas. So previously, like I said, Australia does not have a defined pathway for these carers. So what are the advantages of this visa and why will you consider this visa? The number one advantage that I really like, just like the title, is the salary range. So this salary range is really, really, like, is really, really, like, very, very good because comparing it with other countries that we know, we will realize that the salary range is like, it is motivating, I would say. So the salary range is from 51000 Australian dollars. That is what is written. That is uh, annual, annual per annum. That is yearly salary. So more or less like... Uh, 4,000 or 3,000, 3, 4,000 per month. And the most important thing, that is why I just like Australia. The most important thing is that you just need to work for two years in Australia with this particular visa 482 and you can apply for visa 186. I, I, I hope I'm right. And that is for permanent residency. Yes. So it says sponsor overseas workers for permanent residency under the employer nomination scheme subclass 186 and that you can get after two years. And the most important thing is that you are not tied to one employer. Mm hmm. Yes. So if you have a uh, work experience in this area when you are in Australia for two years, then you can apply for permanent residency. That is really, really good. And you can as well move with your family. Now I know that you'll be asking what are the requirements. I know that Australia is really... Okay, so the government just put out this news and now care homes and nursing home and like hospitals will now register with the government, uh, with the board. We are going to see everything. They will now put out their expression of interest and then the government will agree to that and the most important thing you need to know is that the government said among these 482 which contains other type of occupations as well so among these 482 if a carer applies for the visa if an employer hires a carer from outside and the carer applies for the visa the carer visa will be prioritized among other people or before other people so that is a fast track visa so that you see how in need or how they need this particular care workers so that is what the government said that, that you will be prioritized and then what are the requirements that are needed for this particular requirement i'm going to go to my laptop so that i will show you everything so that i will not make any mistake and you as well will see it. so guys please remember to click the like button as well. and let's just go straight to that so that we will not waste time 
Okay guys, so this is the website and uh, this is the Australian government website. So here you guys can see it's new aged care industry level agreement and here they said Australia aged care providers can now apply to access the new aged care industry level agreement and this is to uh, this is to recruit qualified direct care workers from overseas to work in the aged sector. So here we can see the purpose of this particular level agreement to sponsor overseas workers from the temporary skill shortage subclass 482 visa in direct care occupations such as nursing support worker, personal care assistant, as well as aged or disabled carer. You need to have made recent and new attempts to recruit workers from the domestic workforce pool first. This, uh, this uh, pathway, what do you need to know? Access the following concession to standard skill requirements. It's a two-year pathway to permanent residency through the employer nomination scheme. So after the two years of after the two years of with the 482 visa, you can now apply for the 186 visa and streamline visa nomination and priority visa application process. So you'll be prioritized. No post-qualification work experience uh, requirements. And then English requirement concession for workers with relevant community language skills. And then the annual salary is 51222 Australian dollars or the Australian market salary rate, which is higher. So you guys can see that. So the key visa application requirements where, that you will need. You have to hold a relevant AQ, AQF certificate 3 or equivalent. So this is more of diploma, OND, national diploma. You can do the skill assessment if you have your OND, your BSc, any, any level that you have. But this AQF certificate seems to be a vocational training like that level. It is not actually... Uh, it is not actually um, like a bachelor's because I checked the AQF and it's, the bachelor starts from AQF level 5 to like level 8. That is where diploma, bachelor's diploma, associate, associate degree and then BSc, something like that. So AQF certificate 3 is not like undergraduate. So now, but if you have it, then you are more than qualified. And then to obtain a positive skills assessment from one, Australian Nursing and Mid Midwifery Accredit Accreditation Council or the Australian Community Workers Association if you obtained your qualifications overseas. So I'm going to show you how this looks because they have not actually, because this was just seven days ago, they have not actually started to like do the skill assessment for this particular visa. If you go for Australian Nursing and Midwifery Accreditation, they will tell you for this, you see it on the top, for this visa, wait for updates. You should click the link and wait for updates, something like that. So they have not updated their website, but I'm going to show you, show you how it looks to do skill assessment with these uh, Australian community workers. And then uh, have an English language proficiency level of IELTS 5.0 or equivalent. Workers with target community language skills employed by culturally and linguistically diverse aged care providers need at least IELTS 4.5 or equivalent. Let me just run through the website that I told you guys for the skill assessment. So we are just going to see a skill assessment for another occupation. So all applications are assessed against three criteria, qualification, English language, and uh, uh, industry experience and currency. So here you will see this particular agency, the uh, Australian Communi Community Workers Association. They are also in charge of uh, like this particular personal care and uh, skill uh, assessment. They also assess community worker uh, disability service officer, family support worker, residential care youth workers. So if when this when they update for this personal care assessment, then you as well see it here. So I will have to leave this link and you see this application process, but you will need to click on this, like when they start the personal care, you need to click on it, but we just click on one. So I will show you. So I'll just click on community worker. So this community worker, you click on it and you will see the definition of community worker. What's a community, the job titles that it can be called, it can be like anything, it can be called case worker, multicultural support worker, community correction worker. It can be called anything. And then you go, you go down and you will see the requirement they need. So for this particular, because it's not personal care, like we said, for this this particular they said a bachelor's degree so you guys can see that a bachelor's degree is equivalent to aqf level seven it's not even level three 
So it's equivalent to AQS, AQS level 7. So also a diploma, a relevant diploma or higher qualification to community service. So you see, they will list it. That is how it, it will be. So when they update the personal care, just click on it and read everything. They will list the criteria, the document they need. <clears throat> The document they need you to submit if you don't have for example if they say uh, bsc in community service but if you don't have it they will give you list of subjects like list of areas that you need to have for example this one they say if you don't have community service then you can if you have sociology political economy structure social policy human development if you have studies under this area you are also eligible to do your skill assessment with them so you guys can see that so you just read everything you just read everything and after reading it you check the english proficiency that they need and you check the employment and currency this employment they will tell you what they need to see on your seat like what what the job this kind of job what you are to what uh, how to say it uh the roles of this job in australia so you check if it is something that you do if it is the same thing as what you do but don't copy and paste but write it in a way they will understand and they will match it with what they do and they know that it's accurate then they will tell you if they need like employer letter or everything so you just have to click on it and see the information and then you click on the other one and that is when this one starts so you can see a lot of information here so guys when it when they update their website you will see it personal care you click on it and you read the information now the application process as well you just click here and see application process and you apply if you get all the documents and then the faq that is frequent asked questions if you have any question you go here they might have answered that so that that also goes for the other board and other assessment body so guys that is it for this i really hope that this video helps you i'm going to drop all the links in the video description thank you guys for watching till here please click the like button and hopefully when this visa comes to an effect we will as well share our, our care homes nursing homes that are hiring in australia you can also follow people that are in australia that are also sharing this information if you feel like this particular area is an area you want to explore see you guys on my next video bye